93. An instruction pipeline is a compute design technique that generally improves performance for which of the following reasons. They have the four answers. We know the instruction pipeline is a stream of instructions can be executed by overlapping fetch, decode, and execute phases of an instruction cycle. This type of technique is used to increase the throughput of the compute system. An instruction pipeline reads instruction from, from the memory where previous instructions are being executed in old segment of the pipeline. Be careful, the instruction is, is uh, read the instruction from the memory and then, well, previous instructions are being executed. They use, they, they, we can use the execute multiple instructions simultaneously the pipeline will be more efficient if the instruction circle is divided into segments of equal duration. I found the, I found the example online. We can understand, fully understand this. This is like the pipeline, instruction pipeline. You see, we can divide for the different segment. This is second one, two, three, four. This is three, four, right? When in the segment one, it's called the fetch instruction from memory. We call this for F I. This is in segment one. You see here, we can call this with segment. Segment, right? This segment one is simple one. Is only do this fetch instruction from memory. When do the second segment two, when the computer do decode instruction and calculate effective address, we call the D. A in the segment two, you see the, the segment two here, they do the D A D code, right? A and you can at the same time you still can do the F I fetch instruction from memory. So we can do both so one and two. And in the segment three here, segment three. It fits operant from memory. We call the F O fits operant. In the segment three, you see segment three, you can execute F O and at the same time they can do the D A decode decode instruction, right? And also you can do the F I fit instruction at the same same C code we can do the three instruction one two three okay in the segment four that has execute instruction we call the ex ex and in the segment two you can do the ex also the computer will can do the fo D A F I, the same time. You see. So this means the the computer, and the same times you can you can execute different instruction, different instruction. Back to our question. So 
The question A, the time to execute a single instruction is reduced. This is wrong. For the single instruction, execute a single instruction is the same time, no dis re uh, reduced. Only in the computer in the same time, you can execute several instruction, pipeline instruction. So this is not correct. This B, a future instruction may be decoded at the same time the current instruction is being executed. It sounds good because you see the current instruction is being is being executed. The future, the next the future instruction may be decoded at the same time. Yeah, this let's, let's take the, the another one. Check C. Memory access time is reduced. No, they, they don't reduce the times. They don't reduce any the single single pipeline the instruction to time. They only do more function, more more uh, pipeline the instruction at the same times. So this is not correct. Okay, D. The execution operation can be performed on multiple instructions. Sim simultaneously. Simultaneously. The, because this talk about the execution operation. We the paper instruction pipeline is doing the instruction, not only the execution. The execution operation is not the correct so it's only they can do the more functions more at the same time more instructions so the d is not correct the correct answer should be b a feature instruction may be decoded at the same time the current instruction is being executed so this is correct when this is executed at the same time, we can do the another. Yeah. So the correct answer should be B.